Welcome. Today we're going to talk about my favorite task manager, Things 3. And it recently did an update that will have the Markdown enthusiasts like very excited. Those who need notes in your tasks, very excited um, because they support Markdown better now. Before we dive into that, ways you can support the channel, become uh, take one of my courses. You can find those below. Uh, CurtisMcHale.ca slash Skillshare will take you to Skillshare where you can again look up Curtis McHale, find some of my courses. Um, yeah, I got one on Tick Tick in there. I'm gonna do one on Things Three eventually. Uh, I've got one on uh, getting started with Zettelkasten. Be another good one to take. That's it. Let's dig into what Things Three has to offer with this 3.1 for the Pi update. So the big thing they've done in 3.14 is add some markdown support. So you can put in headings. You can put in right heading. Now you notice it doesn't actually do like um, different sizes of headings like you'd find in Obsidian. Um, it lets you do a highlight or italics as well with a single um, asterisk bold with double. It does some. You can tell a little bit. It does has some italics there. Has some bold there. It lets you do code fencing. Right, with just one back tick to do a code reference or code fencing with three back ticks. It does not do like formatting. So with PHP there in some formats, some places it will let you it actually color code the code in here to be, you know, appropriate for that code. It doesn't let you do that. Uh, it'll let you do uh, links, although I'm not sure why I would do that since I can just say like have a link and just click the link and the name. Um, it doesn't actually do any fancy formatting of it. Um, although it does recognize, right, when I do a link, if I say link, like it actually does kind of recognize that these are special characters. Right, you can see how they changed to gray when I turned it into a link. Lists, another big thing you might like, bulleted list, numbered list, links with indentation, and an extra Q for some reason. That's another interesting one I haven't seen covered is it actually does task list as well. So, and marks them as resolves, kind of, right? You can see it changes color as you go through. So you could have a, this is an addition to like a checklist, an actual checklist in a task. So, uh, it also does, you know, some minor formatting for a block quote, right? And actually changes that um, symbol, the block quote symbol to a gray, to, a, to recognize it as a formatting character. So, if you take notes in your tasks, this is a good thing. It also does uh, shift command F to search. Oh, I have that tied to something else, don't I, on mine. I have that tied to this thing, quit. Now I can search and write, I can search bulleted and it'll actually highlight that for me. So if you're say sending an email from Spark or something like that and have a bunch of text, you can actually highlight it. That would be something right? highlight the pertinent information inside the email and then you could search for stuff inside your email as well. Um, some of the other uh, things they've updated in 3.14 is sync. So instead of doing like full syncs like they used to, they now do like partial syncs, just what you've changed. That's gonna keep your sync fast. Uh, overall, I think uh, it's a cool update for Things 3. We haven't seen a lot of major updates. Um, they tied these keyboard commands or functions over into the iPad and the iPhone version as well, if you use those. Um, specifically on the iPad, Things 3 is like absolutely stellar. It has full keyboard support. Um, I think it still has, even after like a year and a half, maybe two years, it still is like the gold standard for keyboard support for um, a task manager for sure, um, but for almost any app. Craft is pretty good as well. Craft is probably just as good. Um, but task managers on iPad are not as, they're just not as good unless they're craft. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened. Uh, other ways to support the channel, take one of my courses on Skillshare. You can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, and I get some affiliate fees for that. Or you can find direct links to my courses below. Um, yeah, look at the one on time blocking. Have an excellent day.